Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni. <laughs> And today we're talking about moving the pelvis in the coronal plane, the hip shrug movement. Now I always talk about this in pregnancy and sideline is a really nice place to put your pregnant client. If I was pregnant, I'd probably have a pillow between my groin and my ankle here and also a pillow under my tummy. So for me, I have the smart spine pillow and I have a little rolled up burrito here to um, cue my, my waist. So when I'm in neutral, I have a little lightness on that towel, but then when I go into the hip shrug, I wanna feel the floor. And so I'm pushing down into that towel. So in pregnancy, you know, typically the pelvis will really tilt forward into that anterior tilt. And then for a lot of us, we'll squeeze our bum and squeeze our belly and push our pelvis forward and go into more of a posterior tilt. So in pregnancy, we're, we're really used to the idea of falling forward in our pelvis and back in our pelvis. But what we start to lose, especially when we do the little waddle pregnancy walk and walk from our lumbar spine instead of from our femurs, we um, lose this hip shrugging, this up and down listing of the pelvis. So again, this information is good for anyone, but especially for your pregnant clients. So you have them in um, sideline, and having them shrug the top hip up to their armpit, and maybe having something under their waist so they can really feel that bottom waist push into the floor. And then on the next exhale, lightening the weight off that towel under them, reaching this top hip into the distance. So it's like they're dropping the top hip and feeling like they're lifting the bottom hip up to that bottom armpit. And then they change that. So they're lifting the, the top hip up to their armpit. The bottom hip is traveling down to their heels and the waist is pushing into the towel. And just doing that just a few times up and down. And this will start to hydrate and floss the femur head in its lateral and medial position. So you're really using the pelvis to massage on the inside and the outside of the femur head. And this is a very important uh, movement, intrinsic movement of the pelvis around the femur head because we use this in gait if we, if we are walking properly, right? This up and down movement. And then in pregnancy and also in post-pregnancy, we always cue the log rolling technique. So they're getting down on their side and they're coming up from their side. And this is also an important movement because just doing this, you're starting to, to translate and list the pelvis up and down, which is really, really nice. See my pelvis drops down and then it lifts up as I go down. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.